the machine wise aluminum sassery trainer it is a aluminum bow song i believe 7075 aluminum uh with a texture handle and uh the blade is for 40c hardened steel uh, the cost of this, I'm not 100% sure because on their website they only have for the live blade version, which is 275 Now, the trainer is almost definitely less, but I don't know exactly how much less, and I'm not going to guess. Um, it is press fit Zen pins, and it is a channel design unlike the Tatori, which is a sandwich design. However, apparently they've also made a titanium Sasori, uh, which some people say that they love a lot. The Sasori and the Totori both have a shared weight system, which is not unlike the uh, Nakiri. Essentially, you have these weighted spacers that you can unscrew and then screw back in, so you don't need to disassemble the whole bow song. I'm a big fan of this weight system that has been kind of taking on popularity. A lot of people have sort of independently created this at the same time. I do believe Jimpy has something quite similar on his machine, which I have not tried. And now recently, uh, A51 has announced the Apollo, which I also believe has a weight system not too dissimilar to at least the system where you can swap weights out without disassembling. Um, the Sasori, and I assume the Totori as well, come with two sets of weight. Here, let me just open this up. In here, we have, uh, these are the lightweights. As you can see, they're hollowed out. Uh, and in here are the solid weights. Uh, apparently, so I thought that the solid weights were installed first. Um, I thought that was the default config. Um, but Bad with Baosong, who lent this to me, thank you so much, by the way, uh, said that it was initially the hollowed out ones were installed first, which I thought was interesting because when I tried to switch to the hollow ones, the... Tolerances are so fucking tight. I could not get the screw through the um, through the um, the weight all the way through, which was a little annoying. But I did get it to at least be in enough that I could try it out. Honestly, they both feel really good. The heavy weights um, are light handle bias, but have excellent momentum. Fanning still feels really nice. It doesn't feel super wobbly at all. Um, I honestly might prefer the heavyweights. The lightweights feel like dead neutral from what I can tell, and I wouldn't be surprised because machine-wise has like really great tolerances and do a lot of careful testing and planning and things like that. Um, I do like that the jimping is also f lined up on the weights as well. Um, it is a little shallow, um, but that's fine. It's like not the end of the world. Uh, the texture on here, it's just a uh, minor knurling uh, and a, a very, very sort of subtle groove down the middle of the faces. Uh, it's nice and it feels comfortable and it provides grip while like not doing too much. Um, I feel like the Sasori is a sort of, sort of minimalist design that is somewhat akin to the uh, previous, I, I like Machine Wise's design language. I feel like um, essentially the Ori platform, uh, which I also came up with, but they're like, thanks, Blade Bias. And I was like, oh, I saw that too. But uh, the Ori platform, uh, which is the Sasori and the Totori, is shorter than the, uh, the Marin platform. Shoot, I had it over there. Let me just get it real quick. <laughs> So the Marin platform is much, much longer than the Ori platform. Significantly so, at least noticeably so. Marin platform is famously known to be kind of long. As you can see, these handles are longer. The blade is even longer too. At least the blade, not as much. But the handles, for sure. Because um, he, Dalen said that he would measure things from the center of the pivot as opposed to the overall length. But the Ori system, the Ori platform, was basically designed to be a more conventional, a more conventional sort of platform that met more of the sort of trends of Balsanas overall. What I have heard other people say is that it flips really good, but is also, in a sense, less interesting than machine-wise. And honestly, I kind of agree, because in the sense, 
I love the Seraph. The Seraph stands out to me as something that is unique and individual and beautiful and amazing. And uh, the Prisma series was like a really, really great budget form. I didn't really like the Prisma V1s, but the Prisma Pros, or at least the Prisma V2, which I tried, which is the same as the Prisma Pro, but 60, 65, and 70, 75. Uh, so minor weight difference. Um, but essentially, like the Prisma Pro was like an incredibly good budget form of the Seraph. And I really enjoyed how they all felt. Uh, the Seraph to me is still one of my favorite knives ever. Um, some people maybe have like fallen off of their train. I'm not sure. So for those who might not like the length and the feel of the longer Val songs, which all of the Marin platforms are, the Seraph, the Opus, the Slift T, the Prisma and Prisma Pro, uh, all of these, and I guess the Marin, uh, were quite long. Um, and they all had some differences to them and they have discontinued the Prisma and Prisma Pro in favor of the Sasori, uh, and the Slifties have been discontinued in favor of the Sonora, which is their folder blade uh, with bushings. It's like a $600 folder. Um, now, the Sasori is nice, but I also, in a sense, kind of agree that it is just another conventional-ish feeling channel aluminum bow song. It weighs at 3.75 with the heavyweights, and obviously a little less. I want to say like 3.63. Check my um my uh, unboxing video for that, because uh, I'm not going to disassemble this right now. But essentially, the, the thing is that there are so many channel aluminum bow songs. Uh, it's hard for them to stand out. And machine-wise being machine-wise is the fact is that they are, they kind of stand out just from the fact that they are, Machine wise, they have they're one of the few, one of the two makers that actually have like a significantly large team. Oopsies, hello, bonk the desk with my hand. Oh my god, it sounds so good when you close aerials. Um, but essentially, um, like what the Ori platform has going for it, well, what Machine wise always has going for it, uh, incredible tolerances, um, great customer satisfaction, um, great. Uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. It's really, really good, popular, and um, you know that you will have plenty of mod things for it. I'm pretty sure Zippy already has um, uh, inserts for these. I wouldn't be surprised if Zippy made weights already. Um, so there's already a lot of things that you could probably already do. And um, MachineWise cares a lot. We know that MachineWise is very much in touch with the community. Uh, the original design of the trainer blade looked a little different and people were like, eh, so they changed it and you know, it's cool. They listen. Um, but I also kind of do think that the, they don't stand out as much compared to all the, like, there's just so many things like the cost for 275 for an aluminum live blade is basically on par with a Kraken. A Kraken is not as good materials. Um, I don't know what the live blades steel is. I'm actually trying to find that right now. Um, but essentially the, the aluminum I want to say is not 70, 75, uh, steel. No, they don't actually mention the blade steel on the Sasori. So I'm not sure. Um, mm, no, they just say 440C for a trainer, but not for the live blade on the website. So I can't tell you what the live blade is. So unfortunately, like a, f a brand new Kraken straight from, uh, you know, any retailer site like Blade HQ, it's like 280 bucks, I want to say. Let me double check that really quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can spell. Kraken Squid Industries. Um, cause I know at least some of them are like, can get to like 280. Um, so 265 for a basic Kraken and depending on if you want to get an inked blade or you want to get dual tone handles, like a dual tone handle is 295 inked blade is 305 having both dual tone and inked. Let's see if they, uh, 305 on. Uh, it depends. It's all a little in flux. So the cost of a live Sasori 
275, it is, it's in line with a Kraken. Now, a lot of people might like this more than a Kraken. I personally think that, you know, the Kraken being like 4.2-ish ounces, there's obviously some differences, uh, this being 3.75. The weight, of course, is significant. Um, and I find that the Kraken is more handle bias. If you were looking for an all new fresh aluminum live blade, the Sasori, in my opinion, is maybe where the trend is going, where it's lighter and more neutral and has weight options. I do think that it is a better deal than the Kraken. That said, I do think that there are also a lot of really fantastic aluminum channel battle songs that may not be live blades like i have plenty of live blade ones down here i have the sirius i have the eps 101 the icarus the koenig the what is that the amp and the aluminum turbid i also think that the uh the vortex is pretty slept on i think the vortex is really solid uh but not necessarily like has a lot that stands out however the price is like really good i think the vortex was like about a hundo. And uh, I also have some other aluminum battle songs here. Um, let's see. Uh, the Canto Origin. Canto Origin, in my opinion, is also incredibly slipped on. And while it's stock, the stock version is handle bias, uh, you can swap out the uh, screws at the end for zippy plugs, which make it beautifully neutral. Um, so while the Sasori is, I think, I don't know if it'll be a Kraken killer. I definitely don't think that Machine Wise is currently at a level of output where they can match the V3 Kraken. You know, there's there's already been three... I mean, if you can't... There's a version 1, 2, 2.5, 3. Uh, there's already been uh, several generations of Krakens, and there's so many in the market. So, sorry, relatively new. So, I don't think it's going to, like beat out the kraken in terms of the general market but i do think that it at least is probably the first real contender to um the kraken by squid industries uh, and not just in terms of performance and price but just the output potential because the serious i love the serious it is uh, a little handle bias as well and you can get a pretty good one for like under 200 uh but yeah as for trainers I don't know. I'm still not sure how much the trainer will cost, uh, or does cost right now. And right now, machine-wise, they're they're really they're working really hard, but uh, it's not clear yet. So we'll still see how the dice will roll, how the chips will fall. Um, I am very interested in how a Totori feels. I have not flipped one yet. A Totori is basically a titanium sandwich like version of this, but it has a different. Uh, pattern. It's got these cute waves instead of this sort of very subtle knurling pattern. Um, but machine-wise being machine-wise, you really can't go wrong. I am going to be honest. Like, if you come to this review to hear anything possibly mind-blowing or surprising, I don't have anything to say that's going to be shocking or controversial. It's a machine-wise balisong. It is more conventional than the Prisma series. It is pretty on par in terms of cost uh nothing incredibly like amazing deal but definitely not obscenely expensive like with uh two sets of weights and um um 7075 aluminum and um all the you know it's good it's good product and it feels fair uh but yeah i don't necessarily oh it's titanium weights too so if you want you can actually anodize this uh but frankly, I don't have anything particularly groundbreaking to say about this. If you like it, you will like it. If you like Channel Aluminum Battle Songs, you'll like it. It's 3.75s. You can make it neutral. You can give it a nice little bit of handle bias. That is, in my opinion, the perfect amount of handle bias. Uh, and yeah, I like it more than the Kraken. But that doesn't necessarily mean you want to spend almost $300 on a new aluminum battle song when you already have a sea of aluminum battle songs uh it's good it's really good but i also have other aluminum battle songs that are under four ounces that are also neutral my orion for example and the orion 1.5 uh from uh, from ldy is still only 75 dollars for a trainer i think or maybe i think the live blade is like 85 dollars so you can get an orion 
for so much less. It is sandwiched, so you can also get custom spacers. Um, I'm sure they're out there. The stock spacer config is a little handle bias, but yeah, there's there's a lot of options out there. And so while uh, machine wise does what machine wise does best, uh, making a very very solid, beautifully machined, amazing tolerances. Uh, pretty nice minimalist but sleek design and I like how it's in a sense somewhat like the serif in which there's no cutouts there's no big holes there's no big big like grooves or anything just a nice simple kind of textured pattern uh, but I guess that's the thing I don't know if I'll buy one myself they're too expensive for me to really justify owning one right now and they're not super common on the market right now people aren't necessarily like trying to move theirs as often i've seen some totoris and sasoris but uh it's not it's not really common and the titanium sasori is like a significant weight difference that comes in at uh let me just double check that titanium sasori and then i'll look at the totori too titanium sasori is 480 dollars and that clocks in at 4.26 ounces. So not like obscenely heavy, but it is heavier for sure. The Totori is 3.92. So closer to the Sasori, still heavier, uh, but not that much compared to like a 0.6 ounce difference-ish. Uh, 0.5 ounce difference, I should say. So like half an ounce. And then the Totori is 0.2 ounces heavier than the Sasori. So like noticeable, but not like extreme. Um, the titanium sasori, I don't know. I, I remember people like hunting for one like crazy. Oopsies. So yeah, I don't know. I guess that's my take is that sasori, very good. Is it worth the money? Probably. Do you need one? If you have other things or you're looking for cheaper, there are a lot of things that are comparable, not machine wise specific in every single way, but again, vortex i think is is really good i don't think the vortex necessarily stands out but it is cheaper than this uh canto origin there are some on the second hand market i think that one's super slept on orion 1.5 under 100 dollars and is incredibly good uh for its cost and uh there's also just still oh the corvus the corvus is also exceptionally good in my opinion and this one i think was like 120 retail And the Corvus clocks in at, uh, it's like 4.02. So it's like a little heavier. But I think, from what I remember with the Vortex V3, it's like under 4 ounces. Uh, I don't know if I can find the weight of that really quickly. But after I find that, I'll probably wrap the video. 3.62. So it's a lighter, it's a little lighter. Handle length is 5.6. Blade length is 4. Miss Hasori... And the length is, uh, let's see, handle length 5.5, so essentially the same, and then the blade length 5.1. Okay, so the Vortex is a little shorter, but honestly, I would say that the Vortex, which costs 1500 or not 50, 150 uh, it is sold out, but again, there's probably some on the secondhand market. So if that's the retail price, 150, you probably find something on the secondhand market for like 120, maybe. And that's and this again, this is like 275 for the live version. If I were to guess, the trainer is probably still over 200 dollars. I'm gonna guess. So I just think that while this is a good product and I think the pricing is reasonable, there are a lot of comparable, cheaper options. LDY Corvus. Um, LDI 1.5, uh, Orion 1.5, Vortex, and, uh, yeah. So, if you like this video, tune in, and, uh, click that subscribe button and bell and like button, and leave a comment. What are your thoughts on this story? Do you think I'm full of shit? You think I'm fucking stupid? You think, oh, wow, this is really helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments. It's always nice. I do read every comment. Um, and also, I guess... Let me know how you feel about the Sasori versus the Totori. I have yet to flip a Totori. Also, if you flipped a, a titanium Sasori, let me know your thoughts. So with that, uh, blah, blah, blah. Have a good one. And uh, check out the coffee in the description if you want to donate a couple bucks for me because I appreciate you.